I'm joined with Team GB forward Colin Shields and Colin five nothing defeat to Kazakhstan people are gonna look at that scoreline and think that it was a really lopsided game you guys outshot that team you came up a against a, a hot goalie in Klesnik over 30 saves today you guys at points of that game were dominating I mean was the goalie his play was it frustrating you towards the end there yeah it was definitely frustrating uh, to take a step back and look at the game I thought we played well we stuck to our game plan we gave ourselves an opportunity and um, you know, they got the two quick goals towards the end of the first period, and that kind of puts back in our heels. But we came back hard in the second period. And I thought we battled and gave ourselves an opportunity. But, you know, they're so good on the power play, those, the, you know, those teams, and they're so good with the puck and uh, the way they just snap it around. And they had a couple of nice goals. And it was, you know, we had some great chances in third to kind of give ourselves back in the game. But, you know, it was unfortunate we didn't get any goals. You guys had 20 shots against Hungary. You had 22 through 40 minutes here. Was the mantra ahead of the game, the game plan is like, we need to get more pucks on the net today, guys? Yeah, I mean, especially with those teams, they, they, they pack it in so well and they make you take the shots from the outside, but we knew if we, we got some pucks to the net and drove the net hard, we're going to get some rebound opportunities. And you saw that tonight and uh, a couple of bounces, you know, our way and it could be a different game. Big power play goal for you against Hungary. The power play, you had plenty of chances today. In the first period, you had those three successive power plays. I mean, you just came up against a, a goalie and a system that seemed to be impervious on the, on the penalty kill. Yeah, I, th I thought we were good in the second period on the power play. In the third, uh, the other unit was working pretty well. I think our unit struggled today in the third period uh, just to kind of get set up in our, in our little uh, system there. But, you know, like you said, their goalie played well. And, you know, they've got some great players, some KHL players. And, you know, those guys are up against some pretty skilled, you know, Russian players usually. So, um, you know, another night, like I said, some of those chances go in. And uh, I thought, you know, people back home might not see the score and think it was a, a more of a lopsided game. But I thought we played well. And, you know, like I said, any other night we could have been right in it. Day off tomorrow, much needed day off after two tough games back to back. And that's another thing, I don't think people realize how banged up you get when you play back to backs like that. But day off tomorrow, Italy's on Wednesday. How do you come out against Italy to get this thing righted and get a win here? Yeah, I mean, I think it still happened. We've got three games left against three beatable teams, uh, teams we've had results against in the past. So, uh, you know, we've got to refocus, re energize, uh, take the day off, and, and work on some things in practice tomorrow and make sure we're focused for the game on Wednesday. Thanks for taking the time. I know you guys need lots of rest now, so enjoy the day off tomorrow, and we'll see you back here at the arena on Wednesday. Cheers, cheers. Cheers.